Hey y'all, it is I, the Theosaurus Rex. Just got this a quick video that I'm doing kind of off the cuff for Exvangelicals. Just wanted to give some advice based on some things that, that I encountered on there. Uh, people like me, and, and you know, you may not think so, but people like me are, um, are Christians. Um, I'm loosely affiliated with the Evangelicals, um, and, and I want to, I, I like Christianity. I think it's a great thing. I think it's one of the most powerful forces for good that's available in the world. And if there are people who are doing things that are unchristian or people who are doing things that are wrong, um, n in no way should Christianity as it is practiced be hurtful or scarring or abusive. And if people are abusing other people in the name of Christ or in the name of the Christian religion, that needs to stop. And I am all about trying to figure out ways to get that to stop, to work with people, to, um, to, to have stories that we can go to and I can go to and talk to people about. Um, you know, I plan on going to, to get my doctorate degree at a seminary. And there are just things that, that I can take from there and, and help. Anyway, so in, in learning about this and in learning about the movement and everything, I've been treated really hostily. And I think the first thing of information is just because you've been abused or from a community that has people who have been abused um, or have done things wrong doesn't mean that you guys should abuse or bully people who aren't part of your community. And I really feel that in some of the ways, whether it be the tweet, the tweet, the tweet quoting as a way of response to kind of go up and get the hornet's nest riled up and stuff like that. I really think that that's a form of bullying to get people away from stuff and that doesn't help because there are people who may not necessarily agree with your conclusions but understand the the way that you got there and want to help get around that um i think that the evangelical community could be helped by delineating between the political arm of it um the atheistic arm or whatever and the people who are looking to reform christianity and part of this comes because the movement's so new it doesn't have any sort of orthodoxy um, where, or clear leaders or stuff like that. And um, so there's going to be some growing pains. But I, I really think that there are some places where, where some growing could happen um, in regards to that. Because for me, I want to I want partner. Like, what's a good way to put this? If there's belief A, and I, I believe belief A, and um, then there's belief B, which I believe is wrong, and belief C, that I believe is wrong. And you believe belief C to be true, and then A and B are wrong. We both believe that belief B is wrong. And we can work together to be able to stop that. And, and it shouldn't matter that we disagree on belief A and C. But we want belief B, we both believe is wrong, and we the people being hurt from it, etc., etc. It's a flawed analogy or whatever, but that's... I'm fine. But anyway, that's, I, I don't think that we should throw people off just because they don't believe like us. And in fact, that's one of the big problems that you guys have with a lot of stuff. Oh, they don't believe like Christians. They ought to believe like what other Christians believe or else they're bad people. And now I've been, you know, whatever. It's not, it's not helpful to throw people out like that or to mistreat people. I remember you're on a you know, public forum. People are going to come in and out of the conversations. There's no reason to to attack them or to pretend that they had to go through some secret stuff to be able to get to them, to be able to get to your stuff. And also remember, as you're sharing really personal things, it is, it is a public forum. And there could be people with nefarious means. Um, I, like, I like the term nefarious. There could be people with less than beneficial means that are you going to use that to maybe try to hurt you in the end. I don't know what their background would be or whatever, but just be aware of that. And I'm sure you already know about that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's kind of a two-edged sword being in the public eye like that. I'd have to say that one of the more frustrating things in, uh, in dealing with everything is, and, and this may just be the type of people that there are, you know, maybe they haven't had the philosophical, logical argument type training that I have, and that's understandable if it isn't. But I really feel that they're, no one's willing to give any kind of benefit of the doubt. So they, they read everything and interpret everything who they don't understand or believe is on their side or are um, uh, are part of their movement or whatever. They in the most negative way possible. And some of it's like, you know, maybe 
um, but maybe there's two ways to read something and you don't have to read it with the negative view, right? Maybe something was said that there's, there's no reason not to interpret it in a beneficial way. Or I feel that sometimes maybe the people were being purposely, shall we say, obtuse in order to maybe to get me to leave or to not be around or whatever, you know, and or I would go in and they'd say, well, you think this. And I'm like, no, I, I literally think this. Oh, well, when you said this, you meant this. No, I, I meant this when I said that. You know, at some point you got to say, OK, either the person's lying and there's no point to continue the conversation or I need to believe what the person is saying because, you know, they're they're clearly stating what they meant by something. And I feel that that hurts you because if, if you're coming in and, and seeing everything through a negative view that people are out to get you or to to hurt you or abuse you because they're they're part of let's say Christianity in the sense then there's no way that Christianity is going to be able to be reformed right um and and then there's also people reading stuff into things that are said you know um let someone prove that they you can't trust them to um before you just run out and and hate them or or distrust everything that they say have some sort of general charity when reading um, someone's tweets or whatever and, and along with that and I think I mentioned quote tweeting before but um, you don't need to quote tweet all your replies um, what it does especially when you quote tweet like the sick burns or whatever the case is that doesn't that doesn't help facilitate a conversation and b it just riles people up because people go in there they see things that aren't necessarily um within context which could come across in a more negative way and then you've poisoned people against the things remember we're on a, so a public social media platform lastly remember that there are there are multiple people multiple types of people looking for multiple different things it, within the evangelical community so whenever someone disagrees with something or says something going to the this is just a support group to help out people and there's no reason why why this should, conversation should even be happening well remember that there are other people having conversations that aren't related to support group stuff you know if someone says uh, well when i was a kid pokemon was bad well then having a conversation about that that's nothing to do with like support group stuff or if someone says well christianity is rooted in white supremacy and it's used to oppress people and minorities that's a political statement based on um a, a view that has um in, that involves a, a religion so to discuss that from a political point when when we're not when the topic isn't about suffering or isn't about someone being abused or stuff like that you you can't just say oh well this is a, a thing a support group for people who are being abused and to dismiss conversations about that when it's not going your way anyway these are some of my thoughts i'd love to um be able to interact with y'all a little bit more and find out some things and see what you guys think remember my goal is to, is to help i don't want the religion that i believe in the relationship that i have with um christ all these things to be used to abuse people and if that's happening then it's it would be good to know oh i guess so i'll close by saying what are some things that i think can be done um i think that uh instances of abuse a lot of them are coming from um uh, a bad theology where people are taught oh well a woman has to submit to the husband and the husband is the person that gets to control everything and a woman has no voice stuff like that that's not what paul was saying that's bad theology that's teaching you that whether or not it was someone who who was from seminary or whatever the case is this isn't a not all evangelical situation this is that's not what the bible says right and there's a right way and a wrong way to interpret the bible based on the author's intent and stuff like that and we can't just throw it all away um so I think that one of the ways is cataloging what are the negative things and then going and um, being able to present that to people who who have the ability to make a difference. Um, don't just think because maybe you're a female or maybe you you have a lifestyle that isn't um, necessarily acceptable within Christendom that your voice means nothing. You can still do it. You know, the experiences that you had at the hands of people who are Christians needs to be addressed. And I think that can help stop, help start, help stop the hemorrhaging it won't be perfect 
but that could help to begin to do things. And then also um, being more welcoming to people who may not be part of the ex-evangelical community so that they can be aware, right? I think that would be a super helpful thing. You know, I can just imagine, like, some of the videos that I would have, like, well, the last video I made, you know, wouldn't have had to have been made if people were just nicer about things. I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me help you learn about this so that I can teach you um, some of the things that are happening so that you can go and you can tell other people and, and differences can be made and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, this is all just we're almost 11 minutes. Y'all have a great day if you want to interact um, at St. Theos Horus Rex. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.